So in this video we're going to look at uh, location decisions and we're going to look specifically at center of gravity and location load distance scores. These are two tools that can help you uh, inform decision make, uh, inform locations decisions. They can't make locations decisions for you. So let's look at three places. A, B, C. The location of A is 1.6. Location of B is 2.1. Location of C is 4, 5. It's not, sorry, not 2.1, 2.1. And that's just on a grid, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So A is one, six. B is two, one. And C is four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, C. Then you have what's called the, the pull or the demand or population, whatever it is, of each one, which is how many trips or how big a demand will be from that location to the facility that you're looking to locate. And so it provides you some weight for making that choice. So A has lower demand, C has the highest demand, so that that will pull the location towards C. So the first thing we need to do to do the center of gravity is the total load total weight, total demand. And, to, and that is just simply 1,000 plus 2,000 plus 1,500 is equal to 4,500. So that is the total demand that this location will face. Then to get the center of gravity we do x and y separately. So x star is equal to x a times load a plus x b times load b. So you see you're weighting these, you're taking an average and you're weighting them by uh, the uh, number of trips plus x c times load c and then you're dividing it by total load. And so that is equal to 1 times 1,000. That is x, x for, for, a, for a is 1 times 1,000 plus 2 times 1,500 plus 4 times 2,000 divided by 4,500 is equal to 2.67 and y star is the same thing is equal except you do you do rather than x you look at y so then you have 6 times 1,000 6 times 1,000 plus 1 times 1500 plus 5 times 2000 divided by 4500 and that is equal to 3.89 so if we were to put that back here on our original drawing we would go 1 2.67 1 2 3.89 the center of gravity would be about there and you can see it pulls a little bit towards C because it has heavier it has heavier weights. So that's the center of gravity. If you're doing a, a center of gravity 
that will give you a sense of where to look. You still need to think about things like transportation, um, zoning, available land, barriers, and those sorts of things in order to uh, in order to choose, uh, but but the center of gravity gives you a basic uh, a basic uh, sp starting point for that analysis for that decision making process. So, what if we wanted to be in one of those locations? So rather than going in between them, which the center of gravity would allow us to do, we would we would uh, we would look at building in one of those things. So the first step we have to do is figure out the distance apart, and the first concept is what I call met. Well, I don't call it metropolitan distance. And this is at right, it's called metropolitan distance because it's right angles, right? It is like you're driving in a city and you have to take those grid roads. Um, and so at right angles, this distance is the same as that distance, even though we've done it in steps. And to calculate the metropolitan distance, the absolute value of x1 minus x2. If you don't want to do the absolute value, you just subtract the smallest one from the biggest one, plus the absolute value of the difference between the two y's. So that's relatively straightforward. The second concept is Euclidean distance. And if you remember from high school math, Euclid is the person who came up with the uh, formula for the uh, length of the hypotenuse in a right triangle, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. And so in that, this is the metropolitan distance here and the Euclidean distance is the sort of as the crow flies distance and the Euclidean distance is equal to the square root of x1 minus x2 squared plus y1 minus y2 squared and then you take the square root. So in this case we don't need the absolute value because the square of a negative number is the same as the square of, of the equal positive number. So uh, generally, for long distances, we'll use Euclidean distances, and for shorter distances, we'll use metropolitan. And uh, in most cases, you'll be told uh, which one to use in that circumstance. So let's go back to our example. The metropolitan distance is what we're going to use. A to B is equal to 1 minus 2, the absolute value, plus absolute value of 6 minus 1 is equal to 6. A to C is equal to 1 minus 4, absolute value, plus absolute value of 6 minus 5 is equal to 4. And B to C is equal to the absolute value of 2 minus 4, plus the absolute value of 1 minus 5 is equal to 6. So in this circumstance, we've calculated the distances. The distance from B to C is the same as the distance from C to B, so we only have to calculate it once. Now we look at low distance scores. for each location. So A, low distance score for A is equal to the distance from A to C times the load from C plus the distance from A to B 
times the load B. Where students often go wrong here is they'll put the load for A in here, and that's not correct, right? The facility is in A, the demand from A will stay at A, and this is the distance that the demand from the other centers has to travel. That is equal to four times 2,000 plus six times 1,500 equals 8,000 plus 9,000 equals 17,000. And we do the same for B. LDB is equal to D from A to B times the load of A, right? It is A that is going to B plus distance B to C times the load for C is equal to 6 times 1,000 plus 6 times 2,000 equals 6,000 plus 12,000 equals 18,000. And for C, we'll go load distance C is equal to distance from A to C times the load of A, because we're going to C, plus the distance from B to C times the load of B is equal, and again, this is where students go wrong. They use the wrong load. You have to, it's the load that's coming to that center. Four times 1,000 plus six times 1,500 is equal to 4,000 plus 9,000 equals 13,000. Choose C has the lowest load distance score. Now in this circumstance, it just happened that C had the highest demand and had the lowest load distance score. That will not always happen, and so that is not a shortcut you can use. So what I've done here is introduce two quick concepts for uh, undertaking uh, some analysis to inform location decisions, the center of gravity analysis, and the load distance score analysis. Uh, I hope that's been clear. Thanks.